Hi, Banksy. Are you eating the grass? <laughs> Aww. He's way bigger than you, but you have like, oh, good boy, Banks. You bit him. Sassy. Okay, boys, play. Please play. Yes. Good job. Oh. Yeah, Banksy. For once, it's you. <laughs> Show off. Showing off for Grandma. <laughs> Oh, he's so he's cute. Groovy. Oh, if I do that, yeah, he don't. He'll come for you. Yeah. yeah. <gasps> Banksy! Oh, that's mean. Banksy. I'm a patient mom. Yeah, he's feeling really oh, full of himself. So you gonna kick so him? Nice to see him like yeah, oh, I know. Oh! <laughs> and he was like, oh, Apollo was bullying him for a little bit there, and now he's being the. This is so oh. cute. <laughs> Go! Oh my god, watch out. Get out of here! You have a whole field! Oh my gosh. Oh my god, ho! Oh. He's better about that. Apollo will come like racing right up to you. He's. Oh, he's. Aww. <laughs> Here, I'm gonna so go over here. No kicking. <laughs> He's like, yeehaw. <laughs> oh, you guys are gonna run into each other. Babies everywhere. That's the most trot I've ever seen him do. Wow! <laughs> Yay, finally! That's a rare sighting. Just so you guys, like, Eddie Cheryl and Grandma, like, he never trots. Yeah! Mickey does not make a big deal of it at all. She just marches through it, so he's like, Follows her. Oh, he's so sassy today. Wow. Yeah, I haven't seen. Oh my God, that's a lot of trot. Oh, he's being brave. He's like. Oh, runs right into her. <laughs> She's like, you're being crazy. Mickey's like, geez, this nutcase. Oh, he's having a blast. Oh, okay. oh, walking in the wilderness. Mom's leaving. He says, I'm so beautiful. Oh. She's leaving. She sent it. So this is the gigantic field with a creek that Banksy has been in since about a week or so after being born. It's like the best ever set up for a baby to grow in because there's so much different terrain. And the creek is nice because they get to follow their moms through the creek. Um, and it makes it like a low stress way to explore and get used to things that a lot of horses find scary later in life if they're not exposed to them when they're young.
and I say that he's been in here since about a week after birth to make a point because ironically people are still pointing fingers and trying to find someone to blame for Scarlet rejecting him. Oh my goodness. Why are you running towards me? Did you step on a rock? Hi. Anyways, he's out here with another baby. This is Apollo. And then that's my guy, obviously. Hi, Banksy. Are you the cutest bean? And his lovely nurse mare, who thinks she is his real mom because she's the best. And she's got so much milk and stuff too, which is really great. So he's doing really well. He's two months old now. Um, sassy. Got lots of energy, gets to play with another baby and he loves it. And honestly, I don't think he even knows that this mom is not his birth mom because he actually gets to nurse with her and she's nice to him and actually takes on a motherly role. So he's always been more comfortable with her than he was with his own mom because she was just so not nice to him. Anyways, as a little update, the one thing I do want to say is that like what I post to my YouTube and on my social channels is a small fraction of my entire life and the whole picture. And when crappy things are going on, especially like in the beginning with Banksy and dealing with um, Scarlett rejecting him, I don't talk to people about it on a public setting because I don't really want other people's opinions on it because a lot of people give opinions from a point where they're lacking experience and it's not helpful and it kind of just adds to the whole stress of what was already a very helpful ex ex what was already a very stressful experience what are you doing and it just adds to the stress of what was already a very stressful experience and so when I was talking about it it would just be privately in groups amongst my friends, to my vet, to horse people that I trust and I am close to, and so on and so forth. So while to you guys on YouTube it probably felt like, oh this came out of nowhere, they were doing so well together, blah blah blah, I very strategically filmed during that time to just have him in them, and if you look back, other than like the first couple of days, I'm sure you can only see him in a lot of the clips, with Scarlett just being in the background, and that's because they were not interested interacting properly as mother and foal. And I'm clarifying this now because people were still commenting on it and being judgmental. And I just want to reiterate the fact that there is a real person with an actual life behind the camera and the videos you watch. And I would like to hope that anyone that makes mean or judgmental or rude comments isn't actually doing it with the intent to hurt and that they feel like there's some not really someone behind the actual camera and they forget it because of YouTube making it less personal, these flies are disgusting, than it would be if it were an in-person interaction. Um, so yeah, like nothing, like my whole life is never going to be put onto YouTube. I do feel I'm very open with you guys and that I answer questions and that once I deal with bad situations, I talk about them accurately and I share them with you because I don't want people that have become invested in my life to feel out of the loop with what's going on. So I do share a lot and I'm pretty honest, but when I'm dealing with stressful circumstances, I don't always want to talk about them right away. It's easier to talk about them once we have a solution and once a decision has been made rather than when we are all still trying things and working with the vets to do that. So I just wanted to clarify that and remind you guys that no matter what you think, the situation is always going to be different from what you gather from what I put online because you're just looking at a very small spectrum of the overall picture of my beautiful boy who, hey, is becoming a little culty and nippy now. Well, anyways, the next few steps with him, we've started halter breaking him and he can lead a little bit. He's not completely halter broke, but I'm honestly not in a huge rush to get that done um, because he just needs to be maneuverable at inspection to have him stand up properly so that judges can judge his confirmation. And he already is quite good at that. So we'll continue working on halter breaking him. We're going to take him for a trailer ride this weekend so that his first trailer ride isn't the one on the way to inspection just to make things a little 
little less stressful for him and obviously the trailer ride will be done with his his mom his stepmom his grandma his fake mom whatever you want to call her um, and when he goes through inspection he will be going with her we will not be putting him and Scarlett out together they will be kept separate it's way too dangerous we would never reintroduce them for inspection Scarlett will be judged separately from Banksy and then the judges will be made known of the situation so that they know how to judge um, it's not something that has never happened this happens at inspections when mares reject their foals or god forbid if a mare dies during birth and the foal is put on a nurse mare it will be done separately and that's what we're gonna do with little banksy and his mama so banksy and stepmom mickey will be going to the inspection in a trailer together and then i will be hauling scarlet separately in my trailer and i will be showing scarlet and i will be holding banksy for the judges to look at him before we turn him loose and mickey will be shown by her owner mickey will not be judged because she's not his mom so her being inspected has absolutely nothing to do with him. She already has been papered and inspected back in the day since she's 26. But yeah, she's not going to be involved in it at all other than to be the mom that he follows around the arena for his liberty portion where they judge his gates. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what's going on with inspection. Inspection is on August 15th, and for people who don't know what inspection is, it's how they grade warm bloods and how they choose who enters the stud book. So with Banksy, it'll be where they look at him and they're going to rate his movement, his character, his confirmation, and so on and so forth, and pick which stud book he gets put in. Um, it'll be where we sign papers, pick his registered name, and all of that, and get everything in order for him to be registered so yeah he has a lot of different warm blood registries that he can be registered with but I chose the Oldenburg registry uh, the Oldenburg Verband instead of Oldenburg North America just because from what I've gathered from local breeders it's one of the more respected um, registries to go with and that they like thoroughbred types so that's what we chose he's licking my hand hi Bubby yeah through the whole phenomenon with Banksy needing a nurse mare it really taught me a lot about social media culture and the way people are because when I first announced that, that we were splitting them up a lot of the comments were looking to place blame on someone which is really odd because he's my baby and I'm the one that got strapped with all the extra expenses and stress with pulling him off of his mom um, so it's never something we would have actually wanted for him at all. Look at, he has a forelock now. But I found it interesting how people wanted to blame, and it, the blame ranged from people saying it was because we handled him too much, um, to people saying it's because they were kept stalled 24-7, both of which are complete and utter lies. When I take pictures and videos of this little guy, it may seem to you guys like I freaking live here, but in reality, we are only here for very brief periods of time to hang out with him, and we just take a lot of pictures pictures in that period of time but they were largely left alone and that was honestly part of the problem because the whole reason behind the rejecting was to do with herd boundedness issues which she had prior to him being born but when he was born they just got worse and as he grew up it got worse and worse she wanted nothing to do with him she just wanted to be out with her friends that she was out with while she was still pregnant and they couldn't go out with him because she a lot, some of them had shoes on so if he were to get stepped on he could get really hurt and also when she was out with friends that she did like like when we put him out with the other mare she would run away with him or run away from him to be with the other horses and would be trying to run away from him during turn in and stuff and it just as I said in the other post it got very dangerous and it wasn't worth continuing to try because like we could have done that but then it could have also been a situation where he's not getting enough milk which he wasn't because um, she didn't want him to nurse and then he would be sickly and malnourished wouldn't be growing properly and could have problems in the future or god forbid since she was starting to be aggressive to him and biting him and kicking at him um, she stepped on him a few times she was pushing him into walls and just kind of not paying any attention to where he was if we just let that continuing continue to happen um it would be a huge issue because he could get seriously injured and then it'd be too late to make a good call and he would be injured or dead because 
uh, maiden mares and like mares in general when they reject their foals there have been plenty of instances where they've killed the foal accidentally um, and that's also why with maidens you want to keep a closer eye on them during birth because you don't know how they're going to react because they do not know what's going on and yes instincts help but some horses just don't make moms and this isn't to say that Scarlet can't be a mom in the future but it's definitely something that I would caution people about if they wanted to breed her and say that they should have a nurse mare set up based off of what happened with him and I think that for her to be a successful brood mare she'd almost need to be bred with like a pregnancy friend that was also bred at the same time that she could just stay out with um, but that's my personal and unprofessional opinion because I don't have a ton of breeding experience but the people that I am with here do and rejections don't happen often um, but they do happen and they're most common to happen with maiden mares because they've never fold before and they have no idea what's going on um, and I'd imagine it would be frustrating sometimes because he was demanding and wanted to nurse all the time so she probably got tired of it and she was too focused on her friends and then she wasn't being very nice to my poor little Banksy and I guess the next most frequently asked question about Banksy is whether or not we're gonna geld him and that's literally not something I'm even remotely thinking of right now um, because he's only two months old he's not even going to be able to be gelded for a while um, and I might keep him intact longer because there are some studies that show that they grow slightly shorter if they're kept intact longer um, but so I, I'd hope that it would help slow down his growing and give him a beautiful neck um, I don't want him to be a giant 16 uh, is nice but I mean like if he wants to be giant that's up to him um, so yeah, we don't know. That's not something we're going to plan, especially before inspection. I think it would just be super ignorant for me to make claims whether or not he's a stallion prospect and this, that, or the other thing. I just think that any horse, before they become a breeding prospect, needs to prove themselves somewhat. And with a baby, you don't really get an accurate enough judge of their character, their athleticism, and their overall confirmation as you would when they're older. So it's not really a decision that needs to be made now, and not one that I need to think of because we got lots of time and he's got teeth now guys he's got molars too and there's two little teeth coming in on the corners there <sighs> so anyways he's like honestly one of the friendliest foals that I've ever handled which is great but he also just always wants to be up in people's business but he's actually pretty respectful and sweet and he's been easy to deal with and he's just a lovely, lovely boy. He's also starting to shed out his baby coat, which is why he looks like he has raccoon eyes. Um, you can see it on both sides. Hey, both sides there. He's shedding out by the muzzle around the eyes. And then on his mane, the roots are coming in darker, as you can see. Um, his tail isn't darkening in the same way quite, but it's a little bit. So, yeah, that's kind of what's going on. He'll continue shedding out until he gets rid of all of his baby fuzz, but it's going to take a little while. He'll probably have goggles at inspection, even bigger ones than he does now. So, that's kind of the plan for him um, in the near future. Other than that, like, honestly, a lot of what my plan is for him currently is just letting him be a baby and do his thing and have a good time out in the field growing and doing things that are horse things because he doesn't really need to be doing much else. And he eats grass now. He eats some of his mom's grain. He eats hay. He has molars, like I said before. He's becoming a big kid. Um... Yeah, so I'm pretty excited about him. It's been a blast watching him grow up this. He really likes getting scratches, which is why so many of my photos of him are with him doing his little bird beak lip out because he just loves scratches and they make him so, so happy. So yeah, he does his little bird beak when he gets scratched. I don't know, I'm happy with how he is because he's really easy to handle and he's super sweet. And generally speaking, like for a colt, that's this young like he's got really good manners he was really good for his first little fake trim where the farrier just ran the rasp over his little feetsies um to get him used to it and he picks up his feet like pretty well for a little one 
He doesn't like it, he says. He says, I don't like it at all, but I tolerate it. And he says, I like living out in the field. Yeah, they're here, out here like all day from early till late. Um, yeah, so it's a pretty sweet setup for little Banksy. The other thing I'm really excited about is seeing him in braids for inspection because he actually has enough hair to make tiny little braids which will be so cute. Another reason why I was very careful about what I posted with Scarlett is because she wasn't letting him nurse and we, while we were trying things that the vet recommended um, he lost weight because she wasn't letting him nurse and initially he wasn't liking the full replacement formula. Um, he drinks it now and he quite likes it and he's been eating his milk bites and then he also obviously gets the milk from Mickey. Um, and he's put on a really good weight now, so he looks a lot healthier, and he's got a gigantic booty. Oh yeah, look at that booty. Good job, Banksy. You have like a foxtail. He's peeing. He's eating the most disgusting looking leaf in the world, so who knows why that's happening. But yeah, I love this field because there's so much natural shade and just natural obstacles for babies to play with and figure out. Oh, Mickey just nickered at him. And he nurse. He nurse. Anyways, he still nurses lots. And he's nursing the right way around. He used to nurse facing the other way because if he didn't, Scarlet would bite him. So he has gotten more comfortable and totally happy. Also, that leg pickup was from the flies before anyone says anything stupid. Looking for faults and what's going on. He is a fancy boy. I hope he has a beautiful long forelock and tail. Thanks, you gotta come for Milo's brand with the long forelock, okay? And the foals do play together. They just don't always cooperate when I have a camera on me to film. Yeah, the other baby's about two to three weeks younger than Banksy, which is why he's smaller and we don't know what his breeding is because he is a rescue. His mom went through the auction pregnant. Hi little man. You have a mohawk. You have such a pretty mohawk. Oh you do? You're so beautiful. He says I pose. I pose for my fans and this is my mom. <laughs>